Will I always be a stranger? Is that who I am? Can I ever be at home in this town? It's too big to be this small. I reach out with my hands and smile, but the road's too wide, the wind is too strong. I reach out and out, but you're gone. There's a wall, but it's safe, or safer than home, or what used to be home, back across the sea, though everywhere is across the sea from here, the sea or the ocean. I came by plane, of course, hours of darkness high over the water, suddenly becoming a vivid chessboard underneath the hundred greens, all the shades that can be made of rain. I come from the city of the drizzle, so I like it here, the rain, the grey, and the people are friendly, obviously, but there's a wall and the friendliness, bricks I can't see. Maybe they're glass, ice, made of space, or other invisible things like history, DNA, dreams, I don't know. We talk all the time, have good conversations in the shop or outside, we laugh a lot, I like them, but I've never seen the inside of their kitchens. So every week at least I text message home or where I'm from to receive by reply the noise of voices, the city and heat scrolling as characters through my hand, letters spelling their sounds, painting the lips that would speak in my ear if we could sit close breathing and laughing. I almost see the flash of their teeth as I read. Still, I tell my friends, my family, I'm doing well, things are good, and they are, it's fine, quiet. That's what we say, it's always quiet. And I haven't decided if that's what I want yet. This main street is as wide and empty as the distance between us. Every week it gets wider. Well, my dog is bilingual, and I love learning English. It's such a pragmatic language. The sounds of the words carrying the meanings inside them like suitcases or baskets, and it's safe here. I agree, nodding my appreciation. I always smile and text across the ocean to say it's safe. I'll stay and be a stranger here. Everyone's a stranger somewhere. But will you always look at me the same way? If I get all the sounds down and mimic perfectly to be more like you, every vowel as lowing as your cows, my consonants indistinguishable when my children are your children or grandchildren, when we're in the same graveyard, maybe then you'll call me local. What does it take? Ten years or a millennium? And must I always be grateful for your coldness, your grey and your spit when I walk in our streets? Have I got to repeat the same thank yous and how nice it's meant to have been to meet you forever? When can I stop pretending to not question anything or be allowed to complain about Ireland like you do without being accused of telling people how to run their own country? How long should I work here before earning an opinion? I am new to this parish of skyscraper and strangers, new to this, new here, but I'll learn and these towering buildings will be my horizon soon, when I call this place home, this eternity of electricity, this terminal lack of night, this city. More people live in my apartment building than our whole hometown, and I know no one and no one knows me, yet it's liberating, so don't miss me. Don't wish I was back, though sometimes I wish that. I'm staying, at least for now anyway. The journey wasn't bad. I Skype home and we smile in stop motion moments, assuring each other everything's fine, it will be. I'm busy, there's always something to do or to look for or look forward to. The sky is empty because it's so bright, you can't see out of it. Empty but alive with human activity, busy, heavy with helicopters, drones and planes, buzzing and cluttered so there's no space beyond it. The city is like a pit of gravity, nothing escapes from it. In sleepless nights I stare up and on, but I can never find them. There are no stars here. They must all be at home, stretched out, arms wide, legs loose over the bog. I miss them, and I say I miss the stars. And the rushes and the puddles and the shit-caked cows and the way you get away with nothing and the miserable looking faces in the shop on Sunday mornings and all the relations you're tied to but don't really know living somewhere nearby and the funeral handshakes and wedding blackouts and talk about the weather, the tiny scandals and endless chatter, who was in the new car, or back to their old ways. I say I miss all that, but I don't miss home. And I say I miss the stars. Ireland was a childhood dream. I can't explain it. Just always had a feeling something important would happen here and I don't know if that thing has happened yet, but I'm glad I came. When I go home, it's like time has stopped. I like the sensation of things going forward, but going back is going backward and 
and I know it isn't perfect here, but it's still lovely, lonely. Everyone says hello. They seem to like me. None of them know me. I think I'm good friends with my barber, and we always say we'll go for a drink or do something sometime. But we never do. He's busy. It's hard to make friends. There's a wall. When I bring my partner over to visit, my mother is going to be so funny. They are as bad as each other, neither speak the same language, so my mother will shout. That's how she understands how to be understood. Shout slowly. Maybe they'll play Pictionary. The best thing about English is there is no gender, which makes sense. I mean, really, why is there ever? Who decided if a knife is a she or a fork is a he? It's crazy. Figuring out how to get on in a new place with new ways and strange food, knowing no one, being misunderstood, plus learning a language is difficult enough without worrying about things like, should the store be wearing lipstick? <laughs>